We meet again, Epcot. We meet again. I have returned to Florida for good reason. There are so many changes taking place here on property. I had to come check them out before they're erased from existence. Wow, this looks considerably different since my last visit. Considerably. The Leave a Legacy plaques have been removed. It's kind of strange not seeing them here. Oh, future world. We've shared some memories, some serious memories. Welcome everyone, Adam. The Woo here starting next month. A lot of closures, refurbishment, and complete overhaul of this particular region of the park will be taking place. This is my last chance to see the past and to look forward to the future. See what I did there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Just to think that these buildings will no longer be here kind of blows my mind. Now from what I've heard, these particular structures on this side are safe. They won't look the same or be used for the same purposes, but they'll still be here. But all of these facades will be going completely away, leveled, making way for progress. Just to reiterate, this side will be staying in one form or another. That side over there will be going. Your seconds. And look who it is coming through in the rain. World of Micah? What's up? It is really coming down. It makes me wonder once that pin station is gone, what are the park guests going to stand underneath to shield themselves from the elements? They're all hunkered down over there. You only use the word hunkered down in Central Florida. It's kind of a kind of a Central Florida thing. Just to give a bit of a bird's eye perspective, everything to the left there, staying. Everything to the right, right down in here, will be, yeah, no longer there. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Here's the entire group as they were taking the photo. Look at all those handsome, pretty faces. Now up on the wall, hang gliding. Jamie and I just flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Look very attentive. Show me attentive. Show me attentive. They're, email, they're emailing the photos to themselves. Stopped off in Electric Umbrella because after September 8th, they will be closed. Gonna have a final meal in here. I wonder, wonder if a talking trash can will be moved somewhere else. Seriously. It, it thanks you when you throw throw trash at it. Lightning and thunder illuminating up there. Some heavy clouds and then sparks galore. Now it is a little dated, but what an air of nostalgia. This how it screams the 80s. Looking down on the register area, grabbed a seat and found a table up top on the second level. Sitting outdoors was not really an option with the wet precipitation, so indoors it is. A cronut. So it's a donut and a croissant. What kind of flavoring is in that? I think that's cinnamon sugar. So it's like a buttered croissant dipped in cinnamon sugar. A butter croissant dipped in cinnamon sugar. It's good. The Angus bacon cheeseburger. I'm going for some ketchup. You got some mustard, but what was some ketchup? Whoops, Oops. slipped off. I noticed you removed the chunk of mozzarella from the your pizza pie, your soon-to-be extinct pizza that you can't get anymore after. Why'd you get rid of the cheese? I don't like it. You don't like cheese? Not this kind of cheese. The elevator in here is amazing. <laughs> it looks like a regular door, but in fact, it, it's an elevator. Nice retro feel going to it with the old school buttons and all. At some point, this will be the play pavilion. You can see the fences have been placed up there. Wonders of Life was a long time ago. There goes the monorail in the rain. A whole new galaxy is coming. Ain't that the truth? My last chance for a Colortopia at Interventions East. This way. Follow the arrow. Due to the weather, the drummers are over there performing inside, you know, under the under the roof line. Which from what I've heard, the roof line connecting these two buildings. 
It's also going to be removed. Yep, I guess you could say this road has just about come to an end. These interactive experiences are on a time crunch. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a butterfly. Almost appears to be outdoors, but this homestead also on the chopping block. If you look closely, you can see the sum of thrills in the sound lab tucked away back there with that colorful fence. Notice the doors are shut and no show times are posted there on the sign. What is something you see every day that has a powerful influence over your actions, emotions, and moods? This yellow brings back memories of sitting with my friends in the back of the school bus, laughing and singing. Nothing rhymes with orange. Orange is a lively, exciting, jump up and dance kind of color. It's the color of which we paint the town. Red is full of emotion. Anger, red face. It's bright and excitement. What was that? Red alert! The doors are about to open and you will enter the color lab for a truly colorful experience. Those things are really moving at a rapid pace. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Wheels of color keep on turning. Well, some of them are turning. Bringing over the brushes. We got our brushes. Cheers. I'm going to give myself a new tattoo. Thank you. Thank you. Dip it in. Gotta dip, go. Oh, I gotta dip it down in. Oh, there we yeah, go. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Gotta grab this fish pond. Look at that. Nailed it. Mr. Sun needs an airplane, buddy. There. Oh, oh. what the heck? Oh, that was cool. We can all make the world a colortopia. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> very dangerous. Take the Nanu's break, but make sure you do it very, very soon. And look who I found over here paying his respects, the presidential hey, tourists on YouTube, so tell me what you think about all these closures that are coming up. Uh, you know, I'm sad and I'm excited because excited with what's ha gonna happen in the future. Also sad because nostalgia. I mean, innovation is basically gonna be completely gone. That's why I like to have all the science stuff. You expand your brain and Disney's gotten rid of a lot of that. When they had Ellen's Energy Adventure, now they're gonna put a roller coaster in it. But it doesn't really expand your brain. You'll learn from that. I miss that stuff. So That's you like the expanding the brain aspect of it, the knowledge side yeah, of it. Yeah, I like learning and all that, yeah. As far as refurbishments goes, Mouse Gears is going to be getting a massive overhaul. All the seeming will be changed completely. It will be a very large undertaking. They will remove all the product, move it to a different location, completely gut the interior change it all around then bring the products back a task that will be take quite some time most certainly the mickey hand leading to the star circulating around just past his noggin that most likely will go away you can even tell peeking outside underneath the sign that they have some construction walls up already I'd like to put in a request if I could take a piece of the DreamFinders machinery home with me. If they're, if they're going to discard this, you know, just, I'll, I'll take it. There really is so much cool stuff to look at in here. All the decor to document the farewell of illuminations. They have these little sippers, light-up cups. Gosh, this thing's been around forever. Also hats and a sweet pass holder long sleeve tee. I like that. Mickey's blowing it out like a candle. And why is Figment so dang happy this thing is leaving? It should be so cheerful. Goofy probably feeling a little nauseated spinning around like that. All the gears are spinning. And I love the little portholes in the roof. Hidden elevator alert taking you to the secret second floor right there on the left. But what I really want to know is who is the older gentleman typing on the typewriter on the far end? Yes, indeed, it will be interesting to see how this facade changes over time. Once this fountain is taken out, there's certainly gonna be a lot more room in this courtyard area. I really love this emblem mounted right here. That is a thing of beauty. And with Club Cool gone and that Starbucks fountain view, you'll be able to see all the way over to Journey to Imagination. Clears the eye shot. Also, the Land Pavilion and the Living Seas will no longer be obstructed. The party zone, had some good times in here. Now they say they're gonna relocate this, but there is no official word where or when. All we know is September 8th, this is 
is gone. And for those wondering, this is my favorite. Two delicious ones and one nasty beverage. Who's gonna get the Beverly? I'll take it. Cheers, and then take it down. One chug. Ready? Go. When you drink it, it's fine. It's the after that's bitter. Oh. They are handing out free samples of slushies. This this one's mine. I got Ray Freeze. Oh, I'm getting one. I'm getting one too. <laughs> Certainly the coolest club this side of World Showcase. And stepping out the door, you will notice there is a real beehive of activity taking place in this area as well. I always love this little area. Plenty of places to sit and lots of AC. Plus the table and chairs are an amazing choice of decor. I'm gonna have to find a new hangout area. Stat. It's already starting to depart. The X and the I. Look, the X and the I are missing. Well, of course. <laughs> Why, hello there, everyone. Well, how are you today? I'm doing great. That's you know what I finally had? Gooseberry pie. Oh, you had gooseberry pie. Yes. Well, how did you like it? I loved it. It was delicious. The characters available for meeting are going to be dispersed around to other areas of the park in time because they will not be able to hang out in here anymore. Take a mental picture because this whole section will be completely also reimagined. There goes the monorail. Check it out in the reflection. You can see the top portion of the Imagination Pavilion there in the window, reflecting. I'm gonna stick around till the sun goes down for this. No, not, not to look in the window, but to see actually illuminations. But for now, just hanging out over here in the corner, looking at what will be the, the soon to be past. Since I'm doing this full experience, I might as well get a little caffeinated here at the fountain view, you know, for posterity. Do you think the hidden Communicore logo will be taken away? I wonder. Most likely, right? Since it won't be here any longer. Oh, dang. Look at the plethora of hidden Mickeys on there. You hear that big guy? You hear? Oh, he can't hear me. He's, he's lost his ears. This one's for you, Fountain View. This one's for you. I also just realized that way down the road a bit, we're going to have a clear shot of Spaceship Earth, which is now concealed. And there are even some rumors of a new water feature not confirmed, just rumors to take place right in here. This might be expanding just a bit. Can we just bask in the glory of this popcorn stand for a moment? The answer, of course, is yes. Yes, we can. Outside Test Track, you see a glimpse of what will be a space-themed restaurant coming soon. The sun is starting to go down and the illuminations of the neon look pretty beautiful. Really adds to the ambiance properly. Looks as if the lights of the lounge at Spaceship Earth are on. Something's taking place up there at the moment. Doesn't the Penn Station look cool in the evening, all purple-like? Locked up for the night. Doors are closed. About to start heading over to the World Showcase Lagoon. We're gathered here tonight around the fire. that your visit to the Walt Disney World Resort has been a truly magical experience. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors in my life, adventures, as well as uploads here on this channel. Nice little nighttime vibe. I'm digging it.
the best time to see the ground when it's all illuminated. Whoop, whoop, it's disappearing. Okay, it's gonna, there, there it comes, it's back. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.